and welcome to this Amcrest video tutorial. In this video, we will show you how to record videos and snapshots from an Amcrest IP camera to a network attached storage device, NAS. In this example, we will use the IP2M A41 Pro HD Wi Fi camera to store videos and snapshots on a QNAP NAS. Before we begin, please make sure you have set up and have access to your NAS and IP camera. Now let's get started. First, we need to select or create a folder on the NAS to store all videos and snapshots. In order to do so, launch your primary web browser and log into your NAS product. Again, we are using the QNAP NAS. Each NAS has its own software, so this will vary from brand to brand. Also note, certain protocol is not supported for NAS. NFS file system is the only one supported. SMB, FCPs, and AFS are not supported. These protocols can be used by the computer, but FTP must be enabled for this guide to work. Once logged in, navigate to the file directory. Then select or create a share folder. In this example, we will use the public folder. Ensure that you have read and write permissions enabled to access this share. Note down the file path as you will need it later in this tutorial. In this example, it is public, followed by a forward slash. If you created a subdirectory, it will be public, forward slash, the name of the subdirectory. Now we need to set the ProHD storage settings on the web UI. Open a new tab in your browser. In the URL bar, type in your camera's IP address and log in with the camera credentials. On the top right corner, click on the Setup button. On the left menu, click on the Storage tab and select Destination. The current path is set to SD card for both recordings and snapshots. Change this to NAS. If you have an SD card inserted into your camera, you could choose to save only recordings to the NAS and snapshots to the SD card. Then click on the Save button. Now we need to connect the NAS server to the ProHD camera. Click on the NAS submenu. First, check the Enable box, then fill out the remaining fields. In the Server Address field, type in the IP address of your NAS. In the Remote Directory field, type in the file path you created on the NAS. In this example, it is public, followed by a forward slash. Again, if you created a subdirectory, it will be public, forward slash, and the name of the subdirectory. Please note, the file paths are case sensitive you need to input the file path exactly as shown in the NAS. Click on the Save button when finished. To ensure if your camera is set to record, click on the Schedule option in the left menu. Set your schedule and enable General, Motion, Alarm, or All Recordings. If Motion is selected, be sure the Event Motion Detect setting is enabled. If the Snapshots button is not checked, no snapshots will be recorded. Then navigate back to your NAS. Using the File Management function on the NAS, refresh the file directory. A new folder with the camera serial number should appear. Open this folder. Within this folder will be another folder with the current date. This folder will contain all of the recordings for that particular day. The next directory will be labeled 001. If there are too many recordings in one day, it will create a second folder or more. Click on the 001 folder. Now you will see a DIV folder and a JPEG folder. Inside each are subdirectories that represent the hour and minute of the day to easily find the exact time you are looking for. Inside the DAV folder are the recorded videos in MP4 format. 
You can play these on any media player that supports this file format, including the Amcrest Smart Player. Inside the JPEG folder are the snapshots taken via motion detection. Now the camera is successfully recording to the NAS. If you are having additional problems connecting your NAS to your camera, please refer to your system's user manual or contact the manufacturer. The Amcrest support team can only provide limited support for third-party products. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our other videos from Amcrest Technologies.